yeah, and unfortunately, I'm very mad, I'm very upset. You know, my four-year-old son's not gonna have a mother. Um, and, um, you know, and, and she's not the only nurse that died from that facility. People that are supposed to be taking care of the people that are sick are the people that are dying now. A husband raising concerns after the death of his wife, a healthcare worker on the front line who he says exhibited coronavirus symptoms. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jackie Nesprell. And I'm Dewan Strader. Good evening to you. NBC6 reporter Jamie Garola is live outside the hospital tonight where she worked with her story. Jamie. The 33 year old woman was a traveling nurse assigned here to Palmetto General. Her husband says last month she was exposed to a patient with COVID 19 in the hospital. I haven't kissed her in three weeks. My son hasn't hugged her or kissed her in three weeks. Separated by quarantine, David DeCenso and his four year old son never got to say goodbye to Danielle. Fortunately, you know, she, you know, I found her dead body in my living room on Thursday, you know, lack of oxygen. Um, you know, she, she looked like she died a peaceful death in, in her sleep. Danielle worked as a contracted nurse for Palmetto General. Her husband says she was forced to quarantine and get tested for COVID-19 after being exposed to the virus while at work. But I know for a fact that my wife would still be here right now if she was given the proper protective equipment. Danielle's test was inconclusive, but her symptoms worsened. It was a, it was a rough four or five day struggle up, up between that. You know, her, her fever spikes, you know, it came on in waves. David says he's worried that other healthcare workers aren't properly protected. The people who are on the front lines you know, um, you know, these are our, our modern day infantry, pretty much the, the nurses and doctors, you know, they are the ones in the front lines and we're not giving them ammunition. The people that are supposed to be taking care of the people that are sick are the people that are dying now. All right, and we got a hold of Palmetto on the phone. They told us to email them for their comment. We did that. We also tried texting them and got no response. Born Live tonight in Hialeah, Jamie Garola, NBC6 News.